Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tenth Beer Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a beer that I've had before, but I don't think I've reviewed it. I did a search on my channel and I don't think I've reviewed this beer, but this is the new vintage of this beer from Fuller's. We're taking a look at the 2023 Vintage Ale. Um, this is exciting. Uh, it, you know it's Christmas time when this comes out, that's for sure. Um, this one's coming in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 500 milliliter bottle. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. I like this beer. It's a vintage ale. A lot of times I don't really like the British stuff, but you know what, this one, this one gets me good. I like how all these bottles are numbered. Um, this is the my number of 9766 there you go um i'm excited to have this one um apparently this one ages really really well um it's bottle conditioned so what happens is as as the bottle is you know sitting there the the live yeast is still going on in here the the thing is though you have to keep this bottle upright you can't lie it down on its side because what happens is there ends up being some sediment at the bottom of the of the bottle. So you got to pour it really carefully so you don't get it all in there. I mean, there's nothing terribly wrong with the settlement or anything like that, but a lot of people don't really gravitate towards that, and neither do I. I mean, it's a vintage ale. I, I kind of want it to be crystal clear. So let's get into this beer. 8.5%. I don't know if it's ever changed alcohol content. I don't. No, I never really looked at it, and it's exploding on me. There you go. See, it's bottle conditioned, and it started coming out the top. Crazy. It's crazy. Had to pour that real quick. Couldn't even give a little bit of a talk there. So, there we go. Crystal clear. Nice, nice caramel color on this one. It's going to come off like you can't really see anything. There. Actually, there. There you go. That's the color of this beer. As I'm talking upside down with my my lips there, you can see, hello, you can see that it is crystal clear. Nice caramel color, almost like a ruby red on this one. Pour it off with a nice couple fingers worth of head on this one. Condensed bubbles, pretty compact. Yeah, it looks, it looks the part of a vintage ale. Oh, big red wine scent off this one. Yeah. Giving me a little bit of an apple scent as well. Weird. Could be the yeast that they're using in this on the the Fuller's yeast. Yeah, a little red wine, a little bit of an apple kind of scent to this one. I want to see a little bit of a sweetness, maybe like a toffee or or maybe a little bit of a caramel kind of su sweetness smell on this one. Ah, it smells good. It smells like it's going to be totally drinkable. It is not cold. I did not put this in the fridge at all when I bought it at the LCBO. I put it right right on the shelf. I think this was, I want to say this was probably around $15, maybe $13 for a bottle. A little pricey at 8.5%. I mean, you can get higher percentage beers or whatever for for less, but this is, you know, this is a classic, right? So, all right, so the head is dissipated. It smells fantastic. It smells like it's going to be really nice. So hopefully, knock on wood, it really is. Cheers. Let's try it. Oh, that's nice. That's a sipper all day long. The only thing is, though, it is super thin. And I wasn't expecting this thing to have a huge body on it, but I really didn't want it to be this light of a body. I don't remember the other ones now. Good carbonation on this one. Yeah, it's it's not super spritzy or anything like that. The carbonation is there. You can feel it's dancing all over your tongue. Then it dissipates and, and disappears real quick. Like I said, the body on this one is way too thin. Uh, you know, it probably has always been thin. Maybe it's my hope, my wish and dream that this was a thicker body beer. Fuck, if I had the money and the physics working right now, I would totally do this one. I would be interested to see that. You know what? I might buy another bottle and try to get that physics fixed and put it through because I think this would fucking probably physics very, very, well, very well. I can't even talk. Um, let's talk about the tasting notes on this one. 
on the nose, I was getting a red wine and a little bit of an apple. And that's coming through here on this beer. More of the apple side now is coming through on this one. The sweetness is giving me a little bit of a toffee and caramel kind of a combination there. Yeah, it, this is 100% totally drinkable. I remember having this before, and I think we reviewed it over on Nick's channel on uh, on Maxwell Star's beer reviews. I think we did it for a beer analysis 101, and I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed this one too. This vintage is really well well made and well done. Again, I'm gonna, I wish it had a bigger body on it, but it doesn't. But the taste is all there. You know what, and this is one of those ones where, this is an actual ale that, most people would probably want to drink this one cold, but this is totally fine at room temperature. Totally drinkable, bringing out the good flavors, the good, the good taste, the aromas coming through. Nice, like with it being at room temperature. Cold, you're not really getting all the flavors as intended, I think, for this beer. I kind of want to buy another one and, and age this one for a year and see what happens. I might, you know, go back a year from now and and try another, try this same vintage and see how it tastes and. Obviously, I'll have to watch this review again, but yeah, this is good. From Fuller's, you know what? This this beer doesn't disappoint, and it never does. I would totally buy this again next year. I'm probably going to buy another bottle and just hold on to it or maybe even get the physics on it and see what happens. But guys, the 2023 version of Fuller's Vintage Ale, out of 10, I like it. It's a good beer. I enjoy this one. I'm going to give this one a straight 8.75 out of 10. It deserves it. It's a good score. Yeah, probably the only non-stout I'm going to do for this Christmas season. But you know what? It's a Christmas beer. It always comes out at this time of year. So that's it. I'm done with my review. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate the, uh, the views. And I appreciate uh, anyone who's watching and hasn't subscribed that you, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because... I, could, I really enjoy what I do here on YouTube, and you know what? I don't want to get discouraged. I love everybody. If you're watching it, you're not subbed. Come on. Come on. Anyway, I'm done, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye.